Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Yes, bad monkey, sort of. I didn't post a video for two days in a row. That's because I had absolutely nothing to tell you that was anywhere remotely not hideously boring from the road. All I did was drive for two freaking days. I'm still exhausted from it. It sucked, but that's what you got. So today, I have been a busy little monkey. I got up this morning, did the usual, you know, day jobby shit, but then I had a massage. Then I went to Best Buy to get some speakers for this whole setup here. And then I picked up lunch for my queen and I. Then we overate, she had to go back to work, and I've been sitting here digesting and gagging up part of a taco that I inhaled. And that's pretty much it. Now I got the speakers and everything all set up. I have been blasting music. So it's a good thing nobody lives next door because like, they probably shoot me. Uh, but it sounds amazing. I basically got the same setup, as far as speakers go, that I have over on this side of the office for the office stuff. And I'm digging it. It sounds fantastic. I'm glad I decided to just go with that instead of buying like shitty itty bitty little ones that I could barely hear. And I didn't need to go get like a $2,000 speaker system because that's stupid. I ran out of tea. And I knew I ran out of tea the other night and I was gonna get some yesterday. But when I came into town, I was like so like wanting to be out of the forerunner, you know how I get, that I just couldn't go back out. So I didn't. And now I need to go and get tea. The other reason is that when we were grocery shopping this weekend, I did think about the tea. Friggin' Trader Joe's didn't have it. So now I'm thinking that maybe the tea that I've had pretty much every night for the past two years, they may have discontinued. So I'm gonna have to pick a different tea. I also ran out of honey. So I need to go get tea and honey. She's almost down to her last tea bag. <laughs> and uh, I gotta go get that too. So that's at least three different stops. So we're gonna go take care of that now. I just ordered a new chair because I've been using, I don't even know where the hell I got that thing. I mean, it's some shitty unadjustable little chair that I've, I've been sort of using as a second chair for when they sent people to come train with me. Yeah, they can sit in the shit chair. I get the good one. It, it's horrible and it's, it doesn't even have armrests. And it's, as you've seen in my videos when I'm filming back there, it is so freaking noisy and squeaky and shit that it drives me crazy. So I just ordered a chair from Amazon. So I think I got a winner. It got pretty much, I think like 8,000 feedbacks and most of them are positive. There are, you know, you're always gonna get the ones that are occasionally bad and it's usually stupidity and why they're bad. So let's hope the monkey gets a good chair because I'm gonna be sitting over there a lot now. I also got a hub. I got a Thunderbolt hub, a Thunderbolt 4 hub to put all this shit together so I just don't have random cables laying everywhere. And blah, 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 blah. You know how that goes. I got to get what I want and, and I got to get it all set up right. That's not coming in, I think, until at least next week. So I'm going to have to wait on that. And then I'm, I'm going to wait to do all the cable management because I want to have everything. I don't want to have to do this 10 times. So I'm going to get that all taken care of once the hub comes in. Now that I've got most of this taco out of my lung, I think it's time to go out now and get tea and honey. So let's go do that. Oh, and if you couldn't hear it, the landscapers are here. They're always here. Hey, it is so <laughs> freaking nasty out. Ugh. We got a heat advisory today. I was gonna say it's only 91, but it's actually 94 up. Yeah, so we're under another heat advisory. I had the blinds closed all this morning and, and all that shit, and it isn't that bad. And I was sitting back in my little corner of the studio and I had the fan blowing on me whilst I was scream singing, testing those speakers out, and it was perfectly fine. It's hard to breathe again because it's so humid. So yeah, I'm stopping at the UPS store because you know sometimes I buy shit and forget about it. So there, I don't know, there might be something here or I could have gotten some useless thing from work or something like that. So I'm gonna run in and check on that and then we're gonna go buy tea and honey. In fact, I don't know, maybe I'll buy the tea here then I don't have to go to Target because if I go to Target, then I have to go to Target. Be right back. Well, that was a bust. Apparently the power's out here. So the store's closed. Good thing I wasn't waiting for my MacBook. I'd have to kick the door in. All right, let's go get tea and honey. Okay. So I'm, if you couldn't tell, I'm at three ships right now. I'm actually not here to get a drink, but I did come here to get their cold brew. So hopefully they have some. That's pretty much it for right now. Uh, I'm gonna go in and get this cold brew and get the hell out of here because I'm like drenched. I'm sweating. Okay, let's go get some cold brew. Okay, kids, I have been playing around now long after I shot the end of this video and decided that I just had to tweak more. So I have completely redone this stand the, the mobile stand, and I think I have it set up 
much better now. I completely removed the Ninja. I don't need the Ninja. It was a pain in the ass to try to get to set up anyways. And with the battery constantly draining, if you leave it plugged in, blah, 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 blah. So I got rid of that. I got rid of the microphone arm because I don't use that because I love using this DJI wireless mic. And, you know, given the reverb in here and, and just the way I have this set up now, I'm just better off using the wireless mic for now uh, until I get that Sony one, if I ever get it. We'll see what that does. But for now, this is the way that stays. Now, what else I have done was that I have been using the short arm for the Falcon Eyes light. And I thought, well, maybe I'll use the longer one and I can get it to wrap way over there and all that kind of shit. But that turned out to be a really bad idea. It just blocked the, the entrance in and out from behind here. And no matter what, it just didn't work right. But what was happening was because I have the camera on this side of the stand and I had the Ninja on this side of the stand and I had the Falcon Eyes light on the side of the stand, it was wanting to tip over. And I, while I have sandbags for it, I haven't gotten any sand. But I thought to myself, well, wait a minute. I still have this extra clamp with the with the screwy arm thingamajigger on it that I'm now not using for the microphone stand. Maybe I can put it there, put it up a little bit, you know, in a, in a better spot, but put the weight of it on the opposite side of the camera and the lights. So I did that, but then I also got the long arm and decided, you know what, why don't I put that in there too? And that'll give it even more weight to balance it out. As soon as I put that on there, and basically, I mean, it's coming right up and down on the side there. It's not like I'm gonna run into it or hit it or anything. It, you could literally see the stand tilt up so that it's actually more upright. And I thought, okay, great. Now I'm using everything and it's all tightly contained and it's balanced and we're good to go. The other thing that I have done is because I put this monitor here, now I do not have the camera down here basically at face level it's up and i'm kind of looking up at it but i'm not looking like way the hell up at it so that it looks stupid it just means that now if i were to be out of my mind and shave all this shit off i wouldn't have my little fat turkey neck smushing down here because i'm looking up and it's extending my neck out and it's making me sit up straighter so i have tweaked it moved it raised it lowered it all that kind of shit to get it exactly to where it is right now so the falcon eyes like all right if i'm sitting here straight on with the camera i'm straight on with looking at the at the monitor here and i'm i put a little piece or like a little green circle sticker right in the center of the monitor and i had myself situated so that i was right in the center of it looking straight on so that i have my screen split and i'm not at any weird angle i have the keyboard set up so that you know it's kind of in the middle and it gives me a, a you know not quite enough room with the mouse but close and again, I got to play with that once I get the hub and get all this shit set up. Then I decided that, you know, I could have the lights off almost not quite at a 45, but sort of off to the side here so that it's, it's coming down at me if I'm facing the camera. So I'm looking st straight ahead here at the monitor. Now I'm looking straight ahead at the camera and up above the camera, but a little bit to the left of me, but the right of the camera from behind is the Falcon Eyes. And the Falcon Eyes is shining right down, you can see it, it's shining right down on me and I'm sort of like in the center of it with the, with the grid. So that, you know, it's basically going right on me, which is why I keep not wanting to lean forward and leaning back. I put the lights on blue and pink and the little melon is on sort of like white, but a little bit more towards blue, just to sort of take me away from the background because I wear black and I'm against a black background. So now you can kind of see the blue of the, of the wall back down there and see when I lift my arm up, you can see more of that light peeking through. All right, so again, it's just a never ending tweak, never ending buying shit to try to make things look the way that I want them to look so that I feel comfortable and I feel happy about what I'm filming and how I'm filming it. And I'm almost there. I just have more pieces coming in. Well, one piece. Once I get the hub, then that takes care of all this. And then I could spend time, you know, doing some cable management because that definitely needs to be done. And I'm all about that because I don't want all these freaking wires just hanging here like that because it looks like shit and it's potentially dangerous and I'm gonna trip over something, I'm gonna smash all this crap. And I don't want that to happen. So now here we are, I'm pretty much done. I am going to take my 
S22 once I turn all of the office lights on so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Here we are, I'm gonna do it right now. Okay, so there you saw it, that's it. And I'm done blathering on, you know, because who knows how this is gonna change tomorrow. I don't think it will because I think I'm pretty happy with this. Again, I haven't dicked around with the overhead setup. Again, I'm not doing too much overhead setup stuff, especially now that I have this all set up as, as an editing station. And, um, you know, and I'm only taking pictures of receipts anyways, which I could still do over there on the office side, like I always do, but regardless, I've got this pretty much all figured out. I like the way things are, are coming together. Um, you know, I, as I continue to tweak it, I bring you along and you can see the madness of the monkey that, that you know, is not ever quite satisfied with the way things are. Something can always be done to make it a little bit better. And, you know, that's, that's just the way I do things. So I'm looking forward to getting out there with my camera my actual stills a7 IV and taking some pictures this weekend. So I think tomorrow, rather than taking this camera to film the night market, I'm just gonna take my camera and, and maybe like the 35 G Master and see what I can capture at the night market. And I'll share that with you probably on Saturday because by the time I get home from the night market tomorrow, it'll be too late. So you might just get a short tomorrow because night market and it'll be done. So that's it. That's all I've got for you. Let me know what you think of all this shit. You can certainly sit there and tell me that I'm a nut and that I'm never satisfied and I'm always gonna be unhappy and I'm constantly gonna be buying shit and you know, wah. It's the way I do stuff. It's what I like. That's important. It's what I like doing. And if you don't like it, too bad because I do. So that's it. That's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.